Today we will discuss integration of VxWorks 653 and time-triggered Ethernet. TTTech has integrated VxWorks 653 and TT Ethernet to demonstrate advanced system integration capabilities with COTS technologies. With integration of both technologies, the concept of time and space partitioning we know from Airing 653 can be extended to the whole system. With asynchronous Ethernet, the definition of determinism is restricted to maximum latency control from end system to end system. The reason for that is that the bandwidth partitioning is based on statistical multiplexing, where timing in jitter cannot be precisely controlled. Also, the order of messages cannot be exactly determined. Therefore, it is hard to define Ethernet services which handle well lossless, low latency and hard real-time behavior at once. TT Ethernet enables full control of jitter and latency throughout the network. It is a deterministic Ethernet technology for time, mission and safety critical systems. It provides robust TDMA bandwidth partitioning and synchronous communication over asynchronous Ethernet network. This facilitates flexible synchronous and asynchronous communication and handling of video, audio, critical controls and also standard LAN applications in one network. Beyond strict determinism, TT Ethernet enables design of N redundant networks and highly dependable systems. The synchronization algorithm is designed and formally verified to provide continuous synchronization even in the case of multiple system faults. This covers also different types of Byzantine and asymmetric faults. The algorithm operates without any central clock and does not forward timestamps. Due to global synchronization with microsecond accuracy, TT Ethernet allows synchronous and isochronous communication via IP networks using time-triggered Ethernet messages. Time-triggered messages are normal Ethernet messages, but they have a special identifier. In the chart on this slide we see several data streams. The time-triggered message and data stream is represented by the red pipe. Time-triggered services enable TDMA-style partitioning and support hard real-time audio, video and standard LAN applications in one Ethernet network. This means both synchronous, rate-constraint and best effort traffic are possible in one network. Time-triggered services are standardized at SA as an open standard. The name of the standard is SA AS6802. As you can see, 802 is very similar to IEEE 802 and, to be honest, this has been the reason why we selected this numbering. The objective of this new standard is to establish Ethernet as a high bandwidth network protocol for time, mission and safety critical systems. It is expected that broader use of Ethernet will reduce cost and enhance design of open and scalable electronics architectures for space, aerospace, defense, ground vehicles and other industry applications. Initial supporters of this standardization project are Lockheed Martin, Bombardier, Embraer, General Dynamics, Sikorsky Aircraft, Honeywell, BAE Systems, Ultra Electronics, G Fanoc Intelligent Platforms, TTA Group and TT Tech. The standard is coordinated with SA Ground Vehicle involved in automotive standard activities for communication protocols. On this slide we see the demonstrator setup with VxWorks 653 and TT Ethernet. This demonstrator consists of two switches, two PMC cards and two wind driven embedded computers with pre-installed VxWorks 653. This testbed allows you to test TT Ethernet network and system performance and build applications for IMA and distributed IMA systems. Switches can be connected to work as a dual redundant or multi-hop system. This depends how we connect TT Ethernet network interface controllers to switches. For both variants, switch shall be configured. An application design framework is provided with examples for demonstration with this kit. 
TT Ethernet PMC XMC card with dual 1 gigabit channels is plugged into the PMC slot of Wind River Embedded Computer. TT Ethernet IP is installed on the Altera Stratix 4 FPGA and offers considerable adaptability for different applications. This card can be used with any CPCI, PCI Express, VME, VPX port with PMC or XMC mezzanine slot. On this slide we can see how TT Ethernet drivers and middleware are integrated with VxWorks 653 core OS services. The middleware is designed to support standard queuing and sampling ports. Existing Airing 653 applications may be used without modifications. Application interface layer is used for sending time triggered rate constraint or Airing 664 and best effort messages through TT Ethernet network controller. One of the libraries we have added for integration of TT Ethernet and VxWorks 653 is IMA OS Sync Library which allows synchronization of multiple IMA modules. It is possible to define when a partition is to be executed within a major time frame. This allows just-in-time message delivery with minimal buffering and application or middleware effort. Therefore, the applications written for this system know with microsecond accuracy when sensors are read and what happens at what time, so voting and redundancy management are simple to implement. This reduces required switch buffer memory and minimal achievable latency, which is below 1 millisecond for an average multi-hop aerospace and defense system. The latency jitter is in microsecond. Further benefit is that the application does not need to take care of any temporal aspects, as this is defined at the network level in message schedule configuration. This separates temporal and functional behavior and reduces number of possible system states and system complexity. Finally, we obtain a system which is easy to test and all interdependencies are known at design time.